Hi again. This is going to be an attempt at a feeding video. And the last one I didn't even post because it uh, really wasn't any bit impressive. But if you la la watched my last video on how to determine the uh, temperament of your tarantulas, uh, you'll see how aggressive my grandma Stella Rosea was. So let's see if he's that aggressive today with the feeding video. Um, so we'll try feeding each of the five that I that I have. I'll show you first the Hedroscrotia maculata. Um, I've named him Flake. Um, he really, I've never seen him go right after something, so we'll, we'll try now, put something in there, but I doubt we'll, we'll see anything. And then we'll do the Mexican fire leg, um, my Brachiopalma bomi, Blaze, then the Lassadora parahabana, then we'll do the Acanthoscuria brockle hursti, and then finally the Gramostola rosea, who was extremely aggressive in the temperament video. So let me pause the video and we'll get ready to go. So he's down in there in the corner. You probably can't see him, but I'm going to drop this guy in. And as I expected, um, he's actually crawling around right on um, Flake and he's doing nothing. So um, he tends to get him when he feels like. So we'll, we'll move on to the next one, which will be the Mexican fire leg. Here we go with the Mexican fire leg. I don't expect a lot out of him, but we'll see. And see again, you know, where the the insect doesn't go anywhere near him. See if we can move him in that direction any. Yeah, so again now the last time I put um one of the dubia roaches in there last week, he didn't even eat it. I had to take it out of there. So, I mean, it, his colors are starting to dull some, so it, it's possible he won't eat this one, and maybe he's going to be getting ready for another molt. So, we'll leave him be for now, and we'll move on to the Lassadora parahabana. So, here's the Lassadora parahabana. It can take usually pretty full-size crickets. And that one goes down underneath. Now, he's ready at this point to go for it, but the uh, the dubia roach went down behind the the hide and is now on the inside. So again, another disappointing uh, video here. So we've had no real good uh, strikes. So we'll move on to the Acanthus curia brocklehursti. Here's the Acanthus curia brocklehursti. There you go. That's a little bit better, and he takes the full-size uh, dubia roaches with, with no problem. So as big as they are, he can he's at the size where he can take them down now. You see how big his abdomen's getting, um, and his colors are faded significantly. So he's still, though, eating aggressively, but I figure before long he should be starting to head towards the, the uh, molting stage. But we'll have, to, we'll have to wait and see on that. All right, so the last one left is the Gramostola rosea, who again, very aggressive. We'll see how it does uh, with its prey. But, but there was a good example of the feeding uh, video for the Acanthus curia brocklehursti. So here's the um, Gramostola rosea. Oh. Wow, so he proved to be pretty aggressive there. So that was a good feed, just as aggressive as he was in the um, attack on my, my paintbrush in the previous video. Uh, he jumped right on uh, that roach, and he's taking full-size roaches too. So no matter how big the roach, he can, he can handle it. So I've had no problems with that. As you can see, he's, he's got that one no problem. So... But this guy is, is very aggressive. So not one that I'm going to uh, mess with too much. Um, because he, <laughs> he's very aggressive. Just watch my video on how to, how to uh, uh, check your, your T's um, temperament. And you'll, you'll see how aggressive he is. We're back to the Lassadora Parahabana. Our uh, 
our Dubia roach made the mistake of, of coming out. And so now we find them in this little uh, stalemate here where one's waiting for the other to move. So we'll see if we can... Well, there you go. Just took a little bit of movement. Now this is interesting. I've never seen... Um, I've never seen him do that, the Lassador Parabana. Usually he he grabs on and he he doesn't let go. And here he let go. So not really sure what, what happened there, but there's a chance for you to see something I've never seen before. So I'm assuming he the way that uh Dubia Roach is acting that he he injected it. I'm assuming that. But I've never seen him let go like that. He always holds on um, and, and finishes them off. So that's maybe he felt this guy was a little bit big so he did the bite and he'll go and get him later. Because it is a good sized male. A dubia roach. So he may have decided that he'd approach it that way. So, but never seen that before. So I'm sure that he will finish him off uh, when he's when he's ready. Maybe when there's a little less fight in the in the roach. Now he definitely injected the roach because the roach is really having trouble uh, getting around now so he was he was just rushing around but now he's he's having more and more trouble so I do think he probably did get injected so that's too bad. I like to see him finish him off a little quicker because I don't like to see uh, any insects suffer. So usually, if they get them and inject them a few times, and um, you know they'll they're usually pretty quick to to die. And here, this one's dying slowly, which I really don't like to see. But you know, I guess it's it's the way of nature uh, for now. So, Later, you received a new message at your private terminal. We'll just let that go then and he'll he'll finish him off, I guess, Commander later. So that's it for my feeding video. First three, not much there, but um, you know, certainly the Grandma Stola Rosea and the Acanthoscaria broccola Hursley both uh, took care of their, their prey and eventually the Lassadora Parahabana too. Stay tuned for my next video, which should be a review of my purchase from jamiestrantulas.com of the Lampropalma uh, Viola Soapides. That's close to that anyhow, my Singapore Blue. Until then, thanks for watching.